Was there a shell casing that had dislodged from an earlier previous time that the gun was used of Richard Allen? And is this one of the things that has tied him to the murders of Abby and Libby? I'll let you decide and you can put that in the comments below. Did the murders of Abigail and Liberty happen because of sex, drugs, money, power, or all of the above? Will there be a tie-in to the connection of Kagan Klein with Richard Allen and CSAM? Again, what do you guys think? Here is a video of Jason Palladino playing with his little friend. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really feel safe knowing that that's in somebody's hands that has multiple charges against him. I don't know. Just saying. So, I'll be curious. Will any of this play into the factor with a cryptic note uh, come into play at all? Will what Garrett Kurt said, Chris Mathis said, Nick said, will any of that come into play whatsoever when it comes to Delphi? It will be a very fascinating story, like Doug Carter says. So, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Thinking back to the four shell casings found at the murder scene in 2017, which originally didn't have any leads through Nibin. Each firearm is kind of set up to where it's like a thumbprint, a fingerprint. There are no two guns alike. That fingerprint sealed the fate of the shooter more than a year later when they were arrested in Colorado Springs and found with the same firearm. You went from almost nothing to the right piece fell in place to the next piece that fell in place to getting a 47 year sentence. That speaks volumes. A case closed. Had Niven not been there, would we have gotten there? Maybe. And in we're given exclusive access to the lab focused on matching up the fingerprints across tens of thousands of shootings. The team inputs every shell casing, every gunfire scene, 65,000 pieces of evidence each year. You'll see a double line followed by a single line. Then an ATF coordinator reviews the firearm fingerprint matches, often finding that shootings which investigators didn't know were related were actually committed with the very same gun. So in my final thoughts, I just wanted to explain exactly this picture. It's the bullet comparison. Although they don't look identical, you can see that it was exactly shot from the same gun. And you could tell just by looking at it that although the pictures aren't identical, that you can see exactly the same characteristics going on in the one to the left as to the one on the right. And that's all I ever try to do with my pictures as well. They might not be perfectly in line or perfectly in sync, but then again, you have a regular photo versus a photo from a blurry video. So just like I'm showing you on the chin in a simple way if you look at the top dot and then look at the three dots within the circle you can see those same markings on the right hand side in the other picture and same with it below so it becomes about what are the chances that these markings can be on somebody else and the continuous markings that i keep showing so my final thoughts are this Never judge something before it's reached its conclusion. There's still a lot to come. So when people think that they know the answers still to what Richard Allen or the accused so far, he might be a part of the picture, but that doesn't mean he fits into the whole puzzle because there's still a bigger picture than what's going on. Okay, you guys, so tomorrow night and Wednesday we'll be having a super panel night of different people. So please don't forget to be a subscriber. Consider subscribing if you are not. And also, if you could or wouldn't mind liking and sharing this video, take care, God bless, and we'll see you tomorrow night at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, and same with Wednesday.